back. We're hungry. And finally, we met someone who's hungrier than us. Take a look at her. Him. What do you think? Her. <laughs> We're in Kodanad in Kerala, God's own country. And we have come to a place which is famous for training elephants for government work. Training the elephant involves them going through some great exercises. And there's an area way back there which we're going to show you. It's almost like a jungle gym that's called the elephant kraal where they undergo their exercises. But the amazing part is that an elephant can eat up to 500 pounds a day. Bus. And I don't mean currency notes, I mean weight. This is the kraal where elephants are trained. And for the ones that don't get trained well enough, you know what their mothers say? Just, just. <laughs> what does their father say? Uh, I don't know. Ivory, ivory. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the elephant cross the road? We don't know either. We didn't stop to ask. We were in a hurry. We were getting out of here because right there is Ernakulam. About nine kilometers that way and the promise of food. Uh, but what we're looking forward to is trying to get out to a place called Kumrakom where apparently you get a lot of seafood and a lot of toddy shops and a lot of fresh crabs and a lot of lobster and a lot of good scenery. And also no reason for a vegetarian to be excited. Evening cometh and with it the promise of dinner. We're in Cochin at the Four Foods restaurant which is known for its traditional food. Serves Kerala delicacies, also known as Nardan food. Uh, hopefully we're going to be tucking into a whole lot of it. I doubt most of it is, uh, I doubt any of it is vegetarian but we'll tell that to Mayur later. Rocky got so excited about dinner that he wet his dhoti and now he's changed into pan. No, I did not. <laughs> no, that is not the case. We had a delicious meal and somebody didn't stop his old habit of wiping his hands on somebody else's lungi. So I had these stripes all over my lungi uh, <laughs> of sambar. Therefore, I've had to switch back into my jeans and it's not, I'm not really happy about it, I can tell you that. So here I am with everything that I'm going to be eating in a short while from now. There's the prawns, the squid, uh, there's a bird called kara. I don't know what it is, but it's rather small, much smaller than a chicken. And we have the naimin, we have the parotta, chapati, beef, some more fish and some more fish. Are you happy? Holy cow, what's there for the vegetarian besides the parotta? Uh, the raw parottas? The <laughs> this is unfair. I protest. I quit. <laughs> He's taking that delicious looking bird which is coated uh, with the marinade and he's put it straight into really hot oil. It's sizzling away. Uh, Sumesh, how much time it takes to cook? Thank you. Five minutes. Five minutes. Excellent. The only two vegetarian dishes in this entire menu are gobi manchurian and chili gobi. There's about 30 other things but they're all non-vegetarian. However, my friend Rocky has promised that he's going to hook me up with something special because he knows the guys in the kitchen, he's in there. Here comes the meat, here comes the meat. This is a merry procession and this we're going to eat. Here comes the meat, here comes the meat. You're in luck today, Muri. We've got lots of meats. While Mayur looks dangerously with a fork in his hand, all I want to say to you is that it's finally all ready and it's all deep fried. I am in meat heaven. Ah, just so that you guys know I'm not selfish, here comes Mayur's dish. His dish. <laughs> 